Okay. Quick update. Um, this is the first video I've done since my teeth is pulled where I actually show my face. As you can tell, I've lost the definition like of my lips. It kind of looks like your mouth is sunk in um, because your teeth would normally pull out on your lips. Um, it's hard to talk without teeth. You can probably tell that some words is trouble to uh, to say. Um, you don't realize how much your teeth are used in speaking until your teeth are removed. Um, so this is kind of an update since the last video of what's been going on. A lot of stuff has been hurry up and wait because once the teeth were pulled, they have to wait for that to heal. Then my 50 shades, the canter mask, had to be refitted because having your teeth removed changes the shape of your face. And that mask keeps you uh, from moving on a table because the laser has to be very precise. And because of that, I have something really cool to show you guys. Hold on just a minute. So this is my original 50 shades of canter mask that is form fitted to my body. Excuse, I got some stuff here on the table. And uh, a lot of people were asking me what this was like. And as you can see, it's pretty flexible. It has uh, some places where they can strap you down to a table. So there's a strap that goes here and a strap that goes there. And then they strap it all the way down so that this flat part is against the table. Um, these are some areas I think that is supposed to like skip or maybe they're used for alignment. got your name and date um, another strap goes here and basically when this starts out it starts out as a flat piece of plastic they stick it in an oven they heat it up and then a team of people place this over your face and stretch it to conform to your face um, I got to keep this one this is the original one because it can no longer be used once my teeth were pulled they did a trial run with it and then had the doctor come in who said that it wasn't good enough and we had to make another one. So, in the comments, I have two ideas for what I'm going to do with this thing. Originally, I said that I wanted this mask when it was all said and done and I kicked cancer's butt and I'd hang it on the wall. But now I'm kind of thinking Tanner right. Like, I want to blow this damn thing up. So, uh, you know, this one, I've not kicked Cantor's butt yet. But, uh, tell me what you want me to do with this after I kick Cantor's butt. Now, I know some people are going to ask me about wearing the mask and is it uncomfortable or, um, that sort of thing. It, it doesn't hurt when they put a hot piece of plastic on your face and stretch it. Don't It don't hurt. Um, it's, it's like having a warm towel. I think my hot tub at 104 degrees is hotter than it was. Um, you don't have any problems breathing. It is a little difficult to swallow intentionally. So if you have a lot of spit in your mouth before they get you strapped down, you better swallow. <laughs> um, it, it's kind of difficult to talk with the mask on, but you can like say uh-huh and stuff like that, stuff that doesn't require the movement of your jaw. Um, I, I basically just lay down and close my eyes and let them strap me down and go with it. and. Uh, Today, when I saw Dr. Medic, 
uh, my comment was because I tell a joke or something funny that I think is funny every visit and Dr. Medic walked in the room today to inspect the old mask on me and I told her that we needed to stop meeting like this where I'm strapped to a table and my gown is halfway down and everybody kind of got a kick out of that as you can imagine um, but the old this mask because my face contour changed was easy to talk in the new mask not so much um, but I close my eyes and they they strap you down and I just keep my eyes closed and they raise the table up and they put you in the machine that has a laser that basically goes around and attacks the cancer and they'll tell you through a speaker if you're like I I swallowed with the old mask on and she said don't swallow so they know if you move any um, there are two handles that you put one in each hand that are on a rope that goes down to a flat board that you can think like you're laying down your feet might be like this but they want your feet to be straight that keeps your spine straight so you hold on to these handles that that keeps your feet straight and your spine straight um, on the mask let me see if I can get this so you can see it on the mask in the chest area see that black line that lines up with on my chest area a black line see there um, it's all about it's all about how accurate the laser is and if you think about it you got like the cancer but you got your vocal cords you got a lot of places they do not want to hit with radiation so that's why it's so important that you are so still on that table and very very small room of air um, I think that's about everything you know I wanted to say I want to try to get them to let me record one of these sessions where they actually are doing the radiation I don't know if they'll allow that I don't know if it's something you want to see I'm also planning to ask them if I can record the chemotherapy again I don't know what their answers are going to be but I'm just trying to document everything so that you know if you get cancer or this type of cancer like what you can expect um, I mentioned in a previous video that when I first got fitted with a mask I got a parking pass that lets me park right next to the building because as you get uh, radiation or a chemo sick moving might be difficult so they literally park you right next to the building you go in a door you're already at the reception room it works out really well you got to walk um, maybe 75 feet um, I also got a key card for the door because it does remain locked for security and that makes it really convenient where you don't have to park in a parking garage a block away like I did today um, I forgot my parking pass and my key card and I just parked where I normally park and had to walk a block to get to the cancer research center but once the treatment starts and I'm doing it every day I literally park right at the building um, so you go in the building you sign in with registration you get a locker key and then you go back to a men's dressing room for this kind of cancer they make you take off anything from the waist up so basically my shirt had to come off um, I didn't take my watch off or my bracelet that my friend got me um, that says my story isn't over yet and uh, you change into a gown don't tie the, the very top only tie it in the center of the back because when they get in there and they go to put the strap on they actually pull the gown down when they do that that also gives them access to my chemo port which is here I've shown in other videos normally it shows very prominently but I don't know why it's not today 
Um, and that's pretty much it. That's the whole thing. Once you get in your gown, you go into a waiting area where you sit down. And then they come and get you to take you back for your radiation treatment. So, pretty simple process. Um, and I'm going to try to get them to let me record it. So, that's all. Thanks.